If I want to be the master of any situation we happen to be, how may we check if we can be like that, be the master of any situation? It's an old question, but... Uh, I want to give it a try. If I'm rushing to do something, will I be the master of the situation? I tend to say no, but there are cases that I need to rush to catch the train or plane or meet certain deadline. But if such situation is too many, I'm sure my life will not be well balanced. So that will be one item that I can check. The other item I can check may be something like, if I really like to do something and doing it, then I may sense that I'm aligned to what I really like, connected to the heart, and bring out whatever the skills I've got using the brain, talking to other people, picking up some reference material, and I may be searching some answer for that, but still, I may know that I'm searching So what does that mean? I can verify what I'm searching is meaningful Which then should mean I can be the master because I know what I'm doing and why. So if I can verify what I'm doing each moment, which means knowing or be aware of what's going on inside of me and around myself, so internally and externally, be at the moment and sense the importance of it. Certain subject may be more important than others, but I can see that. And more intuitively, I can relate to what needs to be done. So I do it. The focus is to do one thing at a time. Otherwise I get confused. But to find what that one thing is may require a calm and quiet mind to make a good judgment. So I need to know in each moment and there may be a case when I'm at peace and feel my life energy is flowing smoothly if that's the case I may be in the breeze or in Nirvana But when I see a person drowning, and it's something that I can do at the time, I may rush to take action to use the skill, talent, anything I've got 
to help that person. In those activities I just mentioned, the thought popped up, which says, there's no self. The notion of self is a binding, constraining, related to the logic experience of the past. and figure out using the mind that may be necessary but to be the master you have the sense of who you are at the root of who you are so that you need to be able to see the connection to who you are, to what's the setting, and make a good judgment, and which requires to know what everything is as it is. And for that to happen, I need to be transparent or the mind should be calm, quiet, or empty. So it's a pure awareness. Of being able to access whatever is happening and relate to that. And let the decision come as if from the root of who I am. So I'm totally in line from the core of my being related to the action I'm taking. So I'm in the position, if I may say so, I'm a master. And when I say I'm a master, that I is not the self. It is, I want to say, the law of nature. Whatever is happening, and as much as I am, my being is a manifestation of law of nature. And that is the notion of thy will be done and being done to make me who I am, alive, functioning, being able to utilize all the cells and how things are happening following the law of nature. So without disrupting that and let the true master law of nature we can call God to do the work as much as it has been doing the work in the whole universe so there's alignment clarity no blockages be aware of what's going on no self And you can make a good judgment. Like I said, you may be at peace, in bliss, or take action as needed. As much as all the organs are functioning, and blood, nerve system, everything is functioning, following the law of nature, that's a harmonious, balanced situation, and external environment changes, we would reflect 
top me with mind, but we want to be connected to the root of who we are. So there's a good relationship between the mind and the root of who we are, represented by the law of universe. Typically, the mind may want to function on its own, but that's the danger of developing the barrier between the mind and who we are at the core and as a total being. When that happens, we won't be the master. As I said, we want to be the master at any situation. For us or individually to function aligned within and connect to the other. For that to happen, we need to be able to see everything as it is and be flexible to respond. Not from the mind point of view, but connected to the root. So this is not the mind-driven approach. Mind is just a tool, the brain. And we need to know who are the true master is to be the master, for us to be the master. I think that's simple enough. I may revisit and add more item. We'll see.